Spring is in the air. You may be looking to cook lighter fare after winter heavy and hearty dishes. Here with some delicious options you'll want to, you'll want on your dinner menu is Brandon Fay, managing director of Trattoria del Arte in Midtown. Welcome back. Wow, what's going on, everybody? Happy spring. <laughs> Happy spring. Kind to of. You. I know. Is exactly. it spring? <laughs> Technically. Yes. Technically, right? they say it's spring. This looks beautiful. This it really spread. does. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? When I think spring, I think. Spring peas, right? Mm -hmm. So we did a really wonderful twist on the classic deviled eggs. My favorite. I am were you so watching excited. earlier? Because this one was yes. like, I love deviled yes. eggs. We had no so idea awesome. what you were making. I'm though. Getting deviled eggs, one of my favorite things. So we did a twist. What we're doing here is you take your traditional egg yolk, right? Mm -hmm. And what we do is we add spring peas, which you just simply puree, and then we use some mint to give it some nice herbaceous and a nice bright flavor. And then I do pickled juice and diced pickles. That's like a little secret sauce. We huh. jazz it up, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a real twist. Twist and it's really fun. It's also really cool. And you could start mixing it up. You can take the puree, the pea. So this is the peas and yeah, the mint? That's the peas and the mint. I have okay. already, and I've already prayed that. And then you've got pickles here. I used like half sour. Mm -hmm. And you've got some pickle juice here. You just put that all in. So all of this goes and in. All that goes in there. Yep. You got the pickles, your pickled juice. And you got your, there you go. You've done this before. <laughs> no. What's the breakdown? So you put like how much mint into the peas? You know, I can tell you my rules. Never, you can never go wrong. Just okay, have fun. Okay, just whatever you want to do. Tasting it and whatever you like. You know, 50 50, 100 100, just have fun. <laughs> all of this? All this no, goes this in? Gonna, this is going to be later on. Oh, okay. And what I'm going to do is, so then you just start mixing that together and that's it. And okay, let, me show you the, let me show you the finished product looks like. So now let's get to the egg. The egg's really cool. So we hard boil the egg. Okay. And here's the surprise. Most people take the egg and they half it. What I do is I cut the top off. You know why? Oh. Because then you could stuff it with lots of fun stuff. So that's I've got inside veggie chips. So the veggie chips are my prey. So you let me tell your guests. So they come over, right? And they're like, oh, this is great. Oh my God, what's at the bottom? <laughs> so, and you grab the bag over there. This right over here, mm -hmm. okay? That's your filling. That's okay. the spring pea. There you go. And you just pipe that in on top. So how cool is that? You've got your egg. You've got your veggie chips. And let me just show so because pretty. I don't know if you can see it. So here are the veggie chips inside the yolk. And the yolk I'm just showing yeah. is just the top has popped off. Look at me trying to demo. Mm -hmm. Not very good. Okay. So and then you do and this is the first time I've ever piped, so if I can do this, anyone can do it. Look at this. <laughs> uh, you Look how beautiful. So pretty. This is like an Easter hunt. Only at the end of the Easter hunt you find chips. Oh wow. And then you put you stick another chip in top. And then and then you, you stick another chip in top. This yes. is your moment. This okay. is your moment. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Ah. Right, I'm gonna take the chip out first. And hold right. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Awesome. And then we. Oh my God. Love it. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> it looks delicious. Cindy likes it. Cindy instead, likes instead it. Instead of drop the mic, it's drop the egg. <laughs> Over here, okay. we're, doing, we're doing we're doing a lovely flounder, right? So with the flounder, I did a, a little twist on a stuffed flounder. It's all about the herbaceousness, and it's about jumbo lump crab meat mm. and shrimp. Mm -hmm. And what's really great is you, you're taking some. You're gonna take an orange or lemon. You're gonna go over here. You're gonna microplane some zest up in there, right? That's all you're doing. You're zesting some lemon and some orange. So what's right? it? But what's in here? And what's in there is some shrimp. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's already it's cooked. cooked. It's cooked shrimp. It's poached shrimp. We got some jumbo lump crab meat, mm. okay? So you can add a little bit of that in there, right? A little bit of your shrimp. And then your traditional, you got some, a little bit of mustard. You got some mayo. And then the, the herbaceousness is basil, mint, parsley. Ah. Mix that together. And that gives you some really great flavors. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to put that. So this is such a simple dish. And by the way, if you don't feel like putting this together and you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to mm -hmm. get it right and how to cook the shrimp. Go to your local gourmet market and you say, hey, can I get a shrimp and crab meat salad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you take that home and then you can jazz it up. You can put some zest in it. Easy. Right. Put a little parsley, basil, mint. They've already done the work. And then all you do is you just take this, you put it right in the center of the flounder, just like this, right? Mm. And this is pretty easy to cook. You see I've already rolled one up. Now, the next step to this, which is another trick, is... What you're gonna finish this with, it's all about the pan juice. That's what makes this dish come mm. to life. So the pan like, juice. Yep. Okay. And what that is, is just a little bit of olive oil on top, right? Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Just put it right on in there, right? You're gonna grab a wine. Now you can go into your cellar, grab a cheap bottle, grab an expensive bottle, whatever mm -hmm. you feel like doing, right? You grab a nice white wine, put that right on top. Then I got some clam juice. Oops. Oh, you got that? Mm -hmm. And then I got some clam juice. I put it right on top. And then also I put a little butter on before. You put that in the oven. 400 degrees. You cook it through 10 to 15 minutes. Now, when that comes out, that pan juice you keep on the side because what you're going to do is, is keeping with the theme of spring and keeping the theme mm -hmm. of spring peas. I've got some pea leaves over here. Oh, and pea those, leaves. Yeah, and those are awesome. So what I have going on here is some shallots, and I'm going to put the pan juice in here. So when I took this out of the oven, mm -hmm. I take the pan juice. I let this set for a little bit. 
This is your finished product over here. Mm. That's a wonderfully stuffed flounder. And over here... I'll take a fork for this. Oh, okay. no. Go to town, because if you don't eat it, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm sure me, some of me, our crew me members... Cindy might finish it. I so, and all over here I'm doing, I'm just, I'm simply sautéing these greens mm -hmm. 10 to 15 seconds. I mean, they're pretty much done. So what you have here now is you have your wonderful sauce that you made mm -hmm. from the flounder, the natural juices of the fish, right? And you can't go wrong. You just put that right on top right there, and that you give it another dimension. That is right? great. And and this is just, delicious, Let me Brandon. just clarify. Their yeah. pan juice was the olive oil and the wine. Clam juice. And the, the clam juice. juice that's it's pretty much four things. The clam juice. That was on, no, 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 pan, pan, pan juice. juice. <laughs> but clam and, and juice. And you got it right. You got it right. Yeah. Okay, I'm pan juice is olive oil. Right. The white wine. Yes. Clam juice, which you can go to your market and get some, just buy uh -huh. some clam juice. White wine. Olive oil, clam juice, and a little bit of butter, right? And then the natural flavors that come out of the fish as it bakes, right? That juice that's left over, you're gonna pour into a jar at the end. And then you're gonna wow. ladle it right mm -hmm. on top. And then you're gonna use it to cook the greens and coming in. Oh, barging in. Uh, what's that spring, by the way? <laughs> it's in, it's in your cooking. I love it, thank you. <laughs> Great to see you. You too. I know. This is delicious, Brandon. As, as we continue to eat, yeah. Vanessa can oh, give us an update to... on if, if spring is coming anytime soon. <laughs> right. Uh, it is tomorrow, not today. It's winter today. It's going to 